myself dikshit chopra in this presentation we will see two stroke engine which is presented by urmila chopra and dikshit chopra points to be covered history of two stroke engine second point is fundamentals of two stroke engine types of engine two stroke petrol engine next point is two stroke diesel engine basic components of two stroke engine the working of two stroke cycle next point is working of two stroke petrol engine and next is two stroke diesel engine history of two stroke engine the first commercial two stroke engine evolving in cylinder compression is attributed to scottish engineer dugald clark who in 1881 patented his design his engine having a separate charging cylinder the crankcase scavenge engine employing the area below the piston as a charging pump is generally created to englishman joseph day the two stroke engine was very popular throughout the 20th century in motorcycle and small engine device such as chainsaws and outboards motor and was also used in some cars a few tractors and many ships part of their appeal was their simple design and often high power to weight ratio because of the lower cost to rebuild and maintain the two stroke engine was incredibly popular in the dirt bike and motor cross motocross industries for many years until recently when the EPA required the industry to switch to four stroke engine because they emit less pollution than two stroke engine fundamentals of two stroke engine now first we will see what is stroke reciprocating motion using reciprocating engine and other mechanism is back and forth motion on one direction each cycle of reciprocation consists of two opposite motions there is a motion in one direction and then a motion back in the opposite direction each of these is called stroke types of engine two stroke petrol engine and its component in this slide we will see the petrol engine two stroke and its components in two stroke petrol engine there are two strokes namely combustion and expansion a two stroke petrol engine is a ic engine that completes the process in one revolution of the crankshaft thus one power stroke is obtained in each revolution of the crankshaft this is the detailed diagram of the components of the two stroke engine where all the components is shown which are spark plug piston then crank case here combustion chamber is there exhaust outlet fuel intake working of two stroke si engine again as we have seen that four stroke petrol engine and diesel engine the two stroke engine is also having its own working cycle the two stroke cycle are very widely employed where small power required for motorcycle auto rickshaw scooter this type of engines are compact in size easy for manufacturing and simple in operation one drawback is there and that drawback is that specific fuel consumption is more but our is more working of two stroke si engine there are no inlet and exhaust hole as in four stroke engine but we have inlet and exhaust port only due to which suction and exhaust strokes are eliminated in two stroke cycle engine here the burnt exhaust gases are forced out through the exhaust port by a fresh charge of fuel which enters the cylinder nearly at the end of working stroke through inlet port this process is called as scavenging it has no walls but consists of the inlet port which is called it as ip exhaust port which is called it as ep and transfer port which is called it as tp the ignition starts due to the spark given back 
spark plug when the piston be nearing the completion of its compression stroke as a result piston is pushed down performing the working cycle stroke and in doing so the air fuel mixture already drawn from the inlet port in the previous stroke is compressed to a pressure and about 1 as to 4 kg cm square when 80% of this stroke is completed the exhaust port is uncovered slightly and some of charge of burnt gases escape to the atmosphere as the exhaust port is uncovered by the further downward movement of the piston the transfer port which is slightly lower than exhaust port is also uncovered and charge of compressed air fuel mixture enters the cylinder and further pushes out the burnt gases out of the exhaust port how strokes occur first stroke the compressed fuel air mixture ignites and thereby the piston is pressed down at the same time same time the intake port one is covered by the piston now the next mixture new mixture in the crankcase becomes pre compress shortly before the piston approaches the lower dead center the exhaust port and the overflow conduits are uncovered being pressurized in the crankcase and the mixture rushes into the cylinder displacing the consumed mixture exhaust now second stroke the piston is moving up the overflow conduits and the exhaust port are covered the mixture in the cylinder is compressed at the same time new fuel air mixture is sucked into the crankcase by means of a crankcase shaft the up and down motion is converted into a rotational motion two stroke diesel engine and its component all these are the components which are shown of the two stroke engine as shown in the diagram the two stroke diesel engine does not produce as much power as a four stroke engine diesel however it runs smoother smoother than the four stroke diesel engine this is because it generates a power stroke each time the piston moves downward that is once for each crankshaft revolutions working of two stroke ci engine stroke uh, diesel engine has a less complicated wall the train uh, because it does not use intake wall instead it requires a supercharger to force air into the cylinder and force exhaust gases out because the piston cannot do this naturally as in four stroke engine the two stroke in diesel takes in the air and discharges exhaust through a system called scavenging scavenging begins with the piston at bottom dead center at this point the intake part port are uncovered in the cylinder wall and the exhaust wall is open the supercharger forces air into the cylinder and as the air is forced in the burn gases from the previous operating cycle are forced out how strokes occur first stroke upward stroke and second stroke is called it as the downward stroke in this two strokes the diesel engine two stroke diesel engine works first stroke the piston is at the bottom of the cylinder a pipe at the left side is open and lets the fuel mixture which is already compressed a bit compress a bit flow from the lower to upper part of the cylinder the fresh gases expels now the exhaust through the injection pipe which is not closed by the piston at this moment to stroke after being hurried upward the piston now covers the pipe on the left side and the ejection pipe because there is no way out any more the upper fresh gas mixture gets compressed now at the same time in the part below fresh gas is taken in by the piston driving upward through the open suction pipe at the upper dead center the compressed fuel mixture is ignited by the sparking plug 
the piston is pressed downward while he compresses at the same time the fresh gas below the process begins again as soon as the piston arrives at its lowest point advantages and disadvantages of two stroke engine advantages two stroke engine do not have wall which are easy to construct and lower their weights two stroke engine fire once every revolution while four stroke every other revolutions these two stroke engine lower output in horsepower two stroke engine work in any position since oil flows is not concern with any wall to worry about disadvantages two stroke engine do not last as long as four stroke engine there is no lubrication system in the two stroke engine so parts wear out lot faster two stroke oil is expensive you would burn a gallon every 1000 miles if it were in the car two stroke engines use more fuel two stroke engine produce a lot of pollution as the way the engine is designed that part of the air or fuel leaks out of the chamber through the exhaust port which is where you see a small thin film or sheen or of oil around any two stroke outboard motor and this leaking oil is a real mess for the environment this is the reason why two stroke engines are used only in applications where the motor is not used very often and the fantastic power to weight ratio is important application of two stroke and four stroke engine they are lighter in weight and they can also produce a higher power to weight ratio two cycle engine are useful in applications such as chainsaws weed eaters outboards lawn mowers and motorcycle small out, outboards motor etc two stroke engines are generally less expensive to build compared to four stroke engine and they are lighter and can produce a higher power to weight ratio for this reason two stroke engine are ideal in applications such as chainsaws weed trimmers outboards motors off road motorcycle and racing applications two stroke engines are also easier to start in cold temperature making them ideal for use in snowmobiles four stroke engines on the other hand produce more torque at lower rpm generally providing general equipment durability than high rhythm to two stroke engine while also providing greater fuel efficiency and lower emission for this reason four stroke engine are ideal in application such as motorcycles atvs and personal watercraft comparison between two stroke and four stroke engine four stroke engine and two stroke engine first we will see the first point for four stroke engine the thermodynamic cycle is completed in four stroke of the piston or in two revolutions of the crankshaft thus one power stroke is obtained in every two revolutions of the crankshaft the thermodynamic cycle in the two stroke engine is completed in two strokes of the piston and in one revolution of the crankshaft thus one power stroke is obtained in each revolution of the crankshaft in four stroke engine four stroke engine have wall and wall actuating mechanism for operate opening and closing of the intake and exhaust wall two stroke engine have no wall but only part volumetric efficiency in four stroke engine is more volumetric efficiency in two stroke engine is less advantages and disadvantages of the two stroke cycle over a four stroke cycle we will see the some advantages of the two stroke cycle over the four stroke cycle the two stroke cycle engine gives one working stroke for each revolution of the crankshaft all these are the references uh, from where uh, we have took this data Thank you.